Today we're going to make some earrings using Liquid Sculpty. Hi, my name is Myra with Boutique Paint. I've used the Liquid Sculpty before to make jewelry and I have another video on this, but they have some fun colors and I just wanted to um, kind of modernize it for today. So um, what's fashionable today, I guess is a better way to say it. This one, I've got three metallics. I've got this one here, which the writing on it's so small, so I don't know if this is a metallic or not, but it looks like, I don't know if it's just because it's not shaken up that it's got kind of this coloring. So pick out your favorite IOD mold. And as I said in the last video that I did with these, you need to look at your molds a little bit differently than you would if you were making an art project or um, embellishing a mirror or whatnot. I'm shaking these so that if you're wondering why I'm sounding a little strange. Um, look at a mold as its pieces. You can do this whole flower here or you could do this inside flower here. Um, you don't have to use the entire mold. So look at these a little differently. And uh, let's get started. Let's try it, this one first. And these you need to bake in the oven with, oop, well, that's the wrong way to do that. You need to bake in the oven um, in the mold. And these molds are safe to do that. And you can see I haven't cleaned up my molds from, um, using the mica powders and them. So I'm just squeezing. I'm going to do this inner circle here or this inner little flower. Nice thing about this is that it's really super, super easy to use. And I'm just squeezing it into the mold, making sure you get every part of the mold that you're wanting to use. And I got these at Michael's. And of course, you can always um, wait until they're either on sale or um, if they have the 50% off coupon. And then buy a set. Don't just, if you're using the coupon, buy a set of them. Don't just use, buy one. It's kind of a waste of the coupon. So you can see I'm, I got a little bit of a gap there. So I'm just going to use a popsicle stick or a craft stick. I'm just going to kind of manipulate that in there. And it is a little bit self-leveling, which is nice. If you don't have two of these molds, the process might be a little bit slow in the fact that you're going to have to put this in and bake it. And then you're going to have to do the process again if you're making earrings. Or you could have two different earrings. Um, your choice. This is rose gold, and I want to see what that looks like. So this one I'm going to do a half and half. I'm going to use this one again. And I just realized I filled it. I didn't want to fill above this, and yet I did. You almost need to store these upside down so that that makes it easier to squeeze into the mold. So I got a toothpick here and I'm going to go along this edge because I did not mean to get the product up there. Just wanted it on that outer, on the inside. I'm just going to kind of clean it up with a toothpick. Once you bake it, right when you get it out of the oven, if you need to take your little scissors, um, you have a little pair of scissors like this, you can get some of that out if you need to. Just clean up the edges. So as I'm waiting for my oven to heat up to 275. 
I went ahead and put these molds onto my cookie sheet and then lined it with foil just because this is one of my um, baking cooking sheets. It's not a craft cooking sheet. If you have something separate, that's great. But um, if you don't, line it with foil because you don't want to cross contaminate. Um, these are chemicals you don't want to in your cooking. So also just double check, make sure you get um, your product up to the edge of the molds while you're waiting also. So these are popped out of the oven and there's just a little bit of overpour. So I'm just going to take um, these scissors, actually my fingernails getting most of those. Um, you can either just run your fingernail along there or you can take little scissors. I just noticed there's a, a bubble hole right there, but I think that's going to be okay for showing you the what I'm doing here. What you can do though to make sure that you don't have bubbles, because one of these, this little guy, he got all kinds of bubbles in the center there, which I personally think kind of lends to uh, the piece. But if you don't want that, just take your toothpick and kind of go in there and um, around the edges and kind of poke at it and that'll help pop bubbles. So I went ahead and drilled these two. I just drilled holes in the petals and I'm just using a small drill bit. I'm going to do the same thing here with these, these guys. So I'm going to drill a hole there, but I'm going to flip it over because it's a little easier because it's a flat surface and I'm just going to drill. And you don't want it too close to the edge. I'm going to use this box here. It's really easy to drill holes through. So I'm going to do the same thing on this. I want to make sure so I'm going to flip this. So I'm going to put it right there because I want them mirrored. So what I want to do next is I want to have a little bit of gold on these um, on these ones. So I'm going to take my um, DIY golden ticket and I have yet to find a really good silver um, paint metallic um, I have one and it just I shake the heck out of it and it just doesn't I need I feel like the metallics need to be kind of a, a little bit more on the thick side to really take hold and I've got my hole up there and I'm just going to dip it with my hole sticking up and I'm going to go about halfway up the flower or to the bottom of the center, I should say. And then I'm just going to kind of shake that a little bit to get the extra off. And then I'm going to blow dry it so that I don't have to sit here and worry about putting it down on something, having it stick. So I'm just going to use the blow dryer, but I'm going to blow down. So I'm going to blow this way. If I blow this way, it'll push the um, paint up and we don't want that. So I'm going to blow with the hairdryer down. And you can see you want your paper down because it'll splatter when you turn the hair dryer on, but that one is now mostly dry. Um, got a little bit on the edge here because it's a little thicker because it was being pushed down. So let's get that dried up. So now let's go ahead and grab our other one. We're gonna do the same thing. Now I've got these ones and because I don't have a silver that I think would be pretty for this, um, I'm going to pull out my stamp pad and I'm just gonna go around the edges. I find also when I'm baking these to go just a minute or two longer than they say. They say don't over bake them, but I find that they um, harden up a little bit. You can see these are still very pliable and they will stay fairly pliable, but um, just leave it in another two, three minutes 
um, and it'll be fine. So I'm going to take my stamp pad and just go along the edges here because I don't have a good silver to dip this in, but this is looking pretty. It highlights. I even like, I got a little bit of it there. Let's see if I can duplicate that. Um, might be a little hard. But I'm just kind of 45ing this on the edges. And then I got a little bit on the inner circle, so I'm going to, there we go, try to duplicate that. And I think those turned out very pretty also. So next what we want to do, now that we have the holes drilled in them and we have the gold, and I would wait for this to dry, but since I'm videoing, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I've got these large hooks, which I really like. They're, they're just a little bit more modern. And you want to twist these. You want to twist them instead of opening them. If you open them, you're going to have a heck of a time getting your circle back. So I'm just going to loop that in there. And then we're going to twist this closed. Like that. So for these big flowers, I got a um, hoop for the ear wire instead of something more traditional like that. And basically you just open it up and string whatever you want through it. If you can do it. <laughs> you just basically need to twist it to the one side and slide it through the hole and you're done. And so that's it for today. If you have any questions about any of the products I used in this video, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. Thanks. Bye.